Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the 7th Seraph armor and the ornamental armor from the season pass. So first first thing I want to say is this is my opinion. This is what I think about the armor itself. If you guys don't agree, let me know in the comments below. But honestly, this is how I feel about the armor. It's probably going to be a little negative, kind of. But overall, I like it. I like the uniqueness. I like it's different. I like a lot of things. So let's look into the seventh ar seventh seraph armor first. Me personally, I am not the biggest fan of this armor set, mostly because it makes me look like a really big meaty boy. And hunters, I like. I don't care what you say. Hunters looking this big will never be a thing for me. It will never look good to me because. Hunters are supposed to be the rogues of the game. We're supposed to be the DPS. We're supposed to be the fast boys. And this does not tell me I'm fast. This tells me I ate too much Twinkies and now I'm big. So that's one unfortunate thing. The other unfortunate thing is that this armor suffers from literally unshaderable spots. If you guys notice right here, just I can't change the color of this and that's just something that will always piss me off like that's actually pretty cool considering you can't even see the lines you can't still see the lines but it goes with this shader so well that i might would uh, but that's way too much yellow so let's see like this is my thought process i would just have to switch it out and bungie i would really love to just sit down and talk to you guys about this specifically i mean i would love to talk to you about guys about just destiny in general but this one's probably just like a topic i could talk about for like at least like a good 15 hours because it's just it's ridiculous dog there's no point in having armor that doesn't change color because now it's like i'm never using that i will say though that if you did want to combine it with other armors i know that the Escalation protocol armor does not change uh, the color of the wires, which is yellow So you could probably shader it with that and it would probably look really well There's other armor that doesn't change color that probably has yellow yellow is just a really Yellow is the color they do not like to change. I don't know why but Yeah, overall the only parts I would probably use this in like certain builds would be my helmet and Maybe the seventh serum cloak because I do like it but Again, that yellow triangle up there does not change colors, so I don't know how much I like it. And I don't even think the, yep, the orange, the the stripes don't change. Yeah, probably not. You're going to use that. Never mind. But this, yeah, I probably would use this considering the orange is so small that I don't, wouldn't even care to that point. Yeah, see, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's fine. So now let's look at the actual armor that you guys probably came here for and honestly not a lot changes it's really weird so if you guys noticed there's a few things here and there that obviously does change i think the biggest changes are the helmet the chest piece and the cloak to a certain point actually not even a certain point it does change quite a bit but the arms and the legs do not change at all if not like they just add like i think this armor or something like that it's just I see the changes, but I feel like it just looks the same. But I do I do acknowledge that it is different. It's just it doesn't feel different. This one horrendously does not change much. Like it gets one this, 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 and then I think just this on that side. Yeah. So unfortunately, like I said with the seventh seraph armor, this just it suffers from the same thing, which is basically, I look super huge. I would have loved it if they made this character look a little bit more skinnier and maybe, yeah, it's just, it sucks. Cause this would have been really cool if I was skinnier. It's just too big. This, I like, I feel like this would be good on a Titan if he had the, like the mark and everything because the Titans have a pretty cool one in my opinion, but that, the hunter is just too big just way too big the only piece i would wear from this ever is the helmet and i do have a certain like look i have with the helmet which i think looks really cool the cloak looks cool but i just wouldn't wear it for a few different reasons one of them being that the yellow right there does not change color which again i 
just will never like that. It's just, it's annoying. It really is. So, unfortunately, that, that's the other thing. This does not shade her well. Let me show you guys real quick. Let's do a color. There's no yellow in this. There is. Oh, my God. There's yellow. Why do I have yellow stuff right now? She's just that one. So, unfortunately, yellow there. Yellow right there. Yellow right there. Orange right here, orange, orange. And, well, that actually might be the the actual armors or the actual shader itself. Let's see. Yeah, so that that was the shader. But see, yellow, 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 yellow. It's just the chest piece. Nope, yellow up there. It's like I said, I notice these things and it bugs me because I notice them. Like if I didn't notice them, I probably would just be like, yeah, this, this is fine, I guess. But overall not a big fan so let's get on to the titan all right now i'm back so we're gonna be looking at the titans and honestly the titans seventh seraph armor doesn't really mean anything to me it's it's fine it's it suffers from the same things as the hunters obviously which means the yellow does not change color which is a huge bummer because they have way more yellow than the hunters a fuck ton more yellow which i mean if you want to go for an all yellow look, I mean, cool. Like this, this right now looks cool. I'm not gonna lie, but there's other armor does not shade with yellow. Now, unfortunately, or unfortunately, however you look at it, Titans do have a few pieces that are unfortunately just locked to yellow for some reason. So this would probably be really good with it. The like the like I said in the Hunter one. Uh, another one another really good one would be the escalation protocol armor that's yellow too so yeah you could definitely do something with it it's just that i the yellow just pisses me off the armor itself is fine i think the only negative is like the boots themselves are a little scrawny for like everything else because it's like thick 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 wimpy it's like mm, maybe give me boots there like kind of like this, these type of boots Overall, I think this just, it's a little too skinny for my take, for my taste. So, yeah, let's look at the actual other armor set. I forgot what the fuck it's even called. Actually, what is it called? <clears throat> Valkyrian. Okay. So, let's get this thing, let's get this right out the way real quick. The helmet is atrocious. It's fucking gross. It's horrendous. Whoever designed that needs to get a pay reduction because it's bad. It's real bad. It's not even like a debate. It's not even like, oh, it's just your taste. I have never met anyone that likes this helmet. This helmet looks fucking horrible, dog. Other than that, y'all got it. I like, a, I like a lot of the armor, actually. I think the arms are okay. I think this up here is weird, but I can work with it. Chest piece is cool if you're going for a leaner look. The boots, I particularly don't care or love them. I think the mark is fucking awesome. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's asymmetrical. Welcome to Hunters. That's really what we are. But this looks cool. I like it a lot. It's really awesome. The only reason I probably wouldn't wear it is because the look I'm going for right now is very casual. So this on top of that would make her look super, super ornamental on just one aspect of her so that would look weird but if you asked me this actually looks pretty cool aside from the helmet and then maybe the arms right here the pauldrons themselves just seem a little weird see like just a little too angular for like everything else but other than that i actually do rock this mark the arms occasionally and then the boots if i want to look like a slim girl or slim girl but yeah, let's go to the Warlocks, and then after that, I'll give you my final thoughts. And we are back, so we're looking at the Warlock armor set for the Seraph armor set. And honestly, this one is not too bad. I think I think a lot of the parts are pretty cool. I think the helmet's the coolest part of the whole thing. Like, let's be real. I'm gonna get that out the way real quick. I think this shit is probably the most fire helmet I've seen from them in a while. I like it a lot. It's... I don't know why I like it a lot. Why am I doing that? Uh, I don't know why I like it a lot. It's, it just looks really cool. 
and I do know I do like see that the yellow does not change color but it's so small that it's just kind of like what the fuck ever like at that point but I think this armor set or the helmet at least looks so cool I love it other than that <coughs> I think the boots look cool if you're wearing it for like let me change so you guys can actually see it I think the boots look cool uh they could definitely go for like a like a like a like a like, like casual look they look like boots that you could just put on real quick so i like that about them but there is a negative about the boots that i will show you guys later but obviously we have to have yellow that does not change color because this is a bungee game and that just this is destiny 2 welcome uh you don't like yellow that sucks to be you man red does not change color there either so you know obviously pros and cons like i said this is mostly my opinion but it's just in my opinion i don't like it when armor is, has one spot or a few spots that can't change the shader or the color of it because it just detracts from the armor itself because i think the armor looks cool but the fact that the yellow does not change just really makes me just not want to use this armor now that's pretty much it i think the mark is fine but i think uh the valkyrian set looks fucking cool and you guys will see in just a minute so i'll be right back and i am back so now this is the valkyrian set and i gotta say there's so many pieces of it that i fucking truly love and there's one piece that well no yeah there's one piece that really pisses me off and then one piece that i just really do not care that it exists so let's go with the top down helmet looks amazing i love the helmet whatever they did with it, it looks fucking cool it's mm, it looks so good i Whoever designed this helmet, yo, you did a good job, man. This uh, this looks fire, caliente way, like really cool. Love it a lot. Uh, the arms are forgettable as fuck, but their arms, it's just a limitation with the warlocks themselves. Even though I don't remember this in Destiny One, but hey, what the fuck do I know? And overall, yeah, it's whatever. The chest piece has to be the coolest thing ever. It's so ornamental. It's so cool. My only gripe with it is that it does not change colors. Like, bro, why? It, it's so cool that I might overlook it, but dog, it's <clears throat> you could have you. This could have been a home run with with just whatever. It, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. So, for you guys to truly experience just the dumb shit of this, I'm going to have to put on a certain cloak because you'll be able to see the boots easier. You guys are probably like, you didn't change it, Tony. Oh, I did. I, I did change it. I did. Look at this. This does not change anything. And that's not even me being like flammatory or anything. It really doesn't change shit. Look at this. It's wild. It's wild that Warlocks got dicked this hard. And it's not even just me saying, oh, they got dicked because of this one of boots. It's the fact that they always get dicked for dumb shit like this. It's like, look at this, guys. If Look at this. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? it's it's wow it's just wow to me it really is so you know that's that's cool right there so last but not least we have the bond and i think the bond looks cool as fuck it's actually the bond that i wear for one of my looks that i have right now and i love it to death it looks amazing i just cannot shut up about this it looks cool so there you guys have it. This is all of the classes and their seven Seraph armor and Valkyrian sets. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you guys like any of these? Let me know in the comments below. Am I being too critical about the changing of colors and shaders and armor? Let me know in the comments below. Me personally, final thoughts. I think the armor is unique. I love the whole Russian theme. I love it when Bungie gets out of their comfort zone when it comes to armor. And this is definitely out of the comfort zone. We've never seen a Russian themed armor set like this. This looks amazing. My only gripes with it is that it doesn't change color. And that some of the pieces just doesn't feel like they change anything with the boots being literally they change nothing. And 
overall, yeah, I I would rate this probably. See my my head like if I would have to rate all of the seasonal armors that we've had so far, Undying would be the first one for sure. The Undying Vex armor is the first one. It's too fire to not. The second one would be probably this armor set to be quite honest. I know the I know the whatever armor set whatever it's called. Let me see. <clears throat> I know the virtuous armor set looks amazing, but it's just so weird that the changes were so minute and minuscule to on some points that it just didn't feel like it was different enough. Where this, it's it feels like it's different. If not only that, it's a little bit more like thematic to it. But I could be super wrong on that. I probably am. But I know you guys will tell me in the comments below. But it's probably just kind of like they're in the in they're competing for second place more than anything because I like this armor a lot. But there's a lot of gr like gripes I have with it, just like the virtuous set. But I think the Undying overall, I do have gripes with it. But it I th I feel like it just looks the best and like for real. It's just another take on how Vex armor would be on a Guardian, and I love that. I would I would love to see more of that. I would love to see hive armor or cabal armor so you know that's just me though let me know in the comments below if you guys like the armor are you guys excited to get all the armor let me know in the comments below i'm actually more excited to see the next season's armor to see what it is and honestly i do like these videos because it just means that there's another reason for me to go for that armor because i do i make a video like this and these are fun for me but i also hope that bungie sees well, hopefully not these because these are pretty, like, just out there. But, yeah, I'm blab. I'm just talking now. So I'll see you guys later.